Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First, a look at the headlines. Congress is second list out. Two Alemaus, two Marcaikas, two Nikes, and two Mansarats through four constituencies on hold. Revolt against BJP and Congress continue. Annoyed party workers cry of injustice to contest as independent candidates. Parliament's budget session to begin from 12th March. Union budget to be presented on 16th March. Finance minister worried over lowering growth rate. Goa Football Association is set to begin Phase 2 of AFC's Vision India Project Goa, GFA planning on two-tier league for GFA-registered youth and junior teams. And is Goan football benefiting through Norman Boardman's Australian techniques? Goa Valley's survival in GFA Professional League is the answer, says Gavin Araujo. Now the news in detail. Congress's second list was out on Tuesday evening. Congress declared candidates in seven constituencies. Two Alemaus, two Marquecas, two Nikes and two Montserrats are through. However, Congress has kept Patorda, Kankorn, Samorde and Murgao on hold as there is too much confusion about candidates in these constituencies. Oscar Fernandez is expected in Goa on Wednesday with the final list. Congress is a really accurate and at least sad than a genome eyes Mangara Jahir Zalan. Tinawa Satyoshi Uday Palekar Shuoli, Jennifer Munchera Taligao, Walanka Alema Banali, Ritesh Naik Murkai, Pandurang Murkaikar Kumar Zue, Daku Murkaikar Prior, and Alex Regina Lawrence in Kurtori. However, Congress is yet to announce its seats in Fatorda, Kankorn, Murga, and Sawade. In total, Congress has declared 29 candidates. Four are on hold and seven are left for NCP. Sources say that tussle is going on between Vijay Sardesai, Pratima Kutino and MK Sheikh for Fatorda seat. There is competition between Sankal Pamunkar and Saifullah Khan for Murgao, between Vijay Pai Khot and Isidore Fernandez in Kankon, and contemplation is going on about keeping the Sawarde constituency for a Muslim candidate. बुधवार दोपहर मुंडले ऑस्कर फेर्नांडिस गोयांत पावतले उरिल्ले चार टिकेटी ते डिक्लेअर करपाचे असत असे सूत्रांकडून समजता व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट देवेंद्र गावकरांगडा लौकिक शिलकार प्रुडेंट मीडिया खातीर रिवोल्ट अगेंस्ट बीजेपी हैज बिगन इन द स्टेट बी2 मोराजकर इन पेडने प्रकाश शंकर वेलेप इन कैपे हैव डिसाइडेड टू कॉन्टेस्ट द इलेक्शन इंडिपेंडेंटली नॉट ओनली इन द बीजेपी द रिवोल्ट इज ब्रूइंग इन द कांग्रेस टू गोविंद गावडे क्विट एज क्विट द पार्टी इट कॉन्टेस्ट एज इंडिपेंडेंट कैंडिडेट Murgaon Congress bloc has also threatened revolt against Congress if the ticket is denied to a loyalist. Loyal BJP worker from Pedne Vitu Moraskar is not happy with the party's decision to give ticket to Rajendra Arlekar in Pedne. He says that his workers are insisting him to contest as an independent candidate. He says that the party should reward their decision within two days. <laughs> कि आमका आमचो निर्णय पक्षान घेवपाक आमका लावचो नी पक्षाचो निर्णय जो पक्षान आज आज हम पेपरच वाचता त्या माध्यमान हम उलेता कि पक्षाने आपलो निर्णय जो फेर विचार करचो ऑन द अदर साइड मुरगाव कांग्रेस ब्लॉक कमिटी हैज थ्रेटन टू रिवोल्ट अगेंस्ट कांग्रेस इफ द टिकट इज डिनाइड टू लॉयल कांग्रेसमैन इन मुरगाव की ऑल ओवर गोयन ब्लॉकांग दुखावलेले असा की कांग्रेस जे क्राइटेरिया कळा ना आमका की मेरिट कोण डिजर्व ही कैंडिडेट त्यांची मेरिट किती आहे लॉयलिटी आहे सिन्सिरिटी कोण मोरे कार्यन काम करता जरा ते नसताना ते आणि कोणा कोणा काढून ब्लॉकान आणि ते कॉन्स्टिट्युशन घालता ते ब्लॉक दुखवलेले असा आणि त्यांचे मत असा की ते निषेध करता की ही प्रतिक्रिया किती चालला त्याच्यावर आम्ही आम्ही दुखावलेले असा आणि त्यांना दिसता की जो कार्य करता आणि जो काँग्रेस पार्टी खातीर खरोच कार्य करीत आणि वागरो राहतो त्या खातीर तिकीट दिल्यात जर आम्ही त्यांच्या वडा असतले ना जर आम्ही त्याच्याबद्दल विचार परत करतले असे आज डिसिजन झाले असा 
Meanwhile, Congress leader Govind Gavde has resigned from Congress party. He says that party has done injustice to him. He will contest as an independent candidate from Priyol. Majir Congress Pakshan khub so injustice ke lasa. Like jade bedar how vikasachi kama karpak mudke madar sangatlan vatalo. Tere amar ek prashna majhe mukha retalo. Ki na hamcha just tanik jo mudke madar sangan jo hamta to hamcha sarkaro to ek ghata ka sa. आणि तेजे आमका एक खणकर आमका मी आसा परमिशन ना की तुझे विकासाचे काम घेवपा खातीर हे जे विषय आम्ही हाय कमांडा पर्यंत कंप्लेंट पावलेली असली आणि ही कंप्लेंटची नोंद ज्यांना घेना तो पर्यंत ह्या काँग्रेस पक्षान राहून काय अर्थ ना ब्युरो रिपोर्ट प्रूडेंट मीडिया द बजेट सेशन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट विल बिगिन ऑन 12th मार्च एंड द यूनियन बजेट फॉर 2012 2013 will be presented on 16th of March. The railways budget will be presented on March 14th, while the economic survey will be tabled on 15th March, followed by the union budget the next day. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Pavan Kumar Bansal confirmed these dates on Tuesday. Union Finance Minister Pranam Mukherjee will present the budget on 16th of March. 12th March and continue up to 30th March, which means that the, the address by the President will be on 12th March, the railway budget on 14th March and the general budget on 16th March. India's gross domestic product or GDP growth is expected to be lower than 7% at 6.9% according to advance estimates of the year ending March 2012. This is the slowest growth after 2008-2009 when India registered a growth rate of 6.7%. Union Finance Minister said that growth figures are disappointing. I am concerned definitely because uh, past two quarters it came down to 7.3 and the projections which we made in the media review which was placed in the parliament we should say that it would be around 7% plus. but now it appears that it is 6.9 for the whole year that means in the first crisis year 2008 9 it was 6.8 originally projected thereafter it was revised to 6.7 and next year it was projected as 8% originally the budget session would end on march 30th the election commission of india's code of conduct does not allow government to make policy announcements during election five states are amidst poll the entire exercise from voting to counting and announcement of result is expected to be completed by 9th of march 2012 bureau report prudent media it's time for a short break stay tuned